We live in a society where it's almost assumed that if something goes wrong, it must be because men are messed up. Men are not always messed up. There are plenty of men messed up in the Qur'an, there are plenty of women messed up in the Qur'an. Human beings are messed up. Human beings have greed. Human beings want more. They're never satisfied. And you're in the middle of just relationships, each of whom want from you all the time. You're gonna have to learn to draw the line and you have to be able to go to sleep at night saying, I did justice. I didn't shortchange my wife, I didn't shortchange my children, I didn't take the rights away from my, my work, I didn't take the rights away from my parents. And with your parents, you have to practically, not idealistically, practically be able to say, I did the best I could. I did the best I could. I'm being realistic, not idealistic. Quran emphasizes the rights of parents, absolutely. Ibrahim alayhi salam leaves the home, yes or no? He leaves the home. He could just stay there and keep getting beat up. But he leaves the home. There are Sahaba who are put in impossible situations, like Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas. His mother says, I'm gonna starve myself to death because you became Muslim. It's like, I hate, I hate Islam. You converted, I can't take it. I'm gonna starve myself. And, he's, she, and she was a single mom, she raised him. And he's dying watching his mother not eat a, eat a morsel. But he can't leave Islam. He won't leave Islam. This is the, the kind of, sometimes the emotional torture and the psychological torture is far worse than any physical torture. And sometimes the people that torture us the worst are the people that are the closest to us. In ways that are not physical. You know, a physical abuse is easy to identify. Emotional, psychological abuse is hard to identify.